CE Week, Get Geeked New York, digital trends in the house. Uh, we are taking a look at some of the cool technology that you will find on the show floor today uh, at the, uh, the convention. And I have on the stage with me right now, uh, Jessica Matthews, the uh, founder and CEO of Uncharted Play. Thanks for being up here with us. Thank we you really for appreciate having it. me. So I was rolling the floor earlier and I came by your booth and uh, wh what is going on here? And then I looked into it. You guys have something really cool going on. Give me the basics of the technology that you have right now. Sure, so our core technology is called MORE. Uh, MORE is an acronym. It stands for Motion-Based Off-Grid Renewable Energy, and that's exactly what we do. We make custom micro-generators that can be integrated into almost anything that moves, and then it harnesses the natural kinetic energy, that's the energy of motion, uh, it harnesses that motion uh, and stores it so you could use it for various different types of applications from mobile charging to uh, actually a lot of really exciting things in terms of data sensors and the IoT. Wow. So, I mean, most folks, when we talk about capturing uh, kinetic energy, and we think about kinetic energy and you think of those like shake to charge flashlights. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't use that motion. I was going to say, I, I feel like I wouldn't do the motion. But you know what? Yeah. But I mean, that's, that's the thing. I mean, people are shaking these flashlights like crazy. And the problem with those, as I see it, is that you don't get, um, you don't get much of a charge out of that. It doesn't last very long. So how is your technology different? Yeah. How are you capitalizing, uh, making it a more efficient energy capturing process? That's an awesome question. I mean, so the problem with those things is that as we just saw, that's a very, at least at this hour of the day, a very unnatural motion, right? Um, <laughs> people don't, people, I gotcha. <laughs> people don't, people don't do that with their, right. with their flashlights. The key behind our technology is not just some really exciting innovations from a supply chain and design perspective, which I'll get to later, but also from a psychological perspective. We design humanistic technology and what that means is we're thinking about what real people are doing and what's really happening in their lives so that we're simply amplifying existing behavior. I think you made a great, a great example earlier is that you don't necessarily want to be thinking about this. You push your stroller and you're charging your device. You put your phone in your purse or handbag all the time, it just charges. You don't think about it, it just comes out charged. Exactly. The, the key to efficiently thinking about kinetic energy and utilizing kinetic energy is having it be a layer of your life that just happens. We're moving naturally, we're moving normally. So instead of harnessing power from a flashlight, which shouldn't be shaking, it makes more sense to harness power from floor panels. Like imagine if we had our technology in the floor here. Everybody we walking on it. Everyone walking on it. Imagine, you know, if you have it in a soccer ball that people already want to play with. Mm -hmm. The key is really from a psychological perspective to give people more out of their day-to-day -day lives and give people more out of what they're already doing. It's, it's the magic of the win-win. Um, and then when you couple in that, the ability to create low-cost, customizable micro-generators so that you're able to really integrate it into things like a stroller without totally messing with that product supply chain or messing with the functionality of that stroller to start with, then you have something that's just seamless and gives people you know, the power that they need and that we, we all want. Right, and the thing is, it's not like you're setting out to make a special stroller, you know, produce that yourself. You're producing the technology and you're offering that to companies that make strollers now, right? So you're trying to get this technology uh, partner with a bunch of different companies making these products so that it becomes a part of their product. Exactly, you know, we just brought in an amazing uh, supply chain lead that's worked for everyone for, from like Belkin to Cisco to Intel and all around integrated systems though. The key to scale is not to create a thousand different products ourselves. We're not gonna make the best stroller. We're not gonna make the best chair. Um, however, we make the best micro generators on the market, period. And so why not partner with the best in terms of everything else and then together make the future of what I think everything should be. If we if we are able to do what we want to do, we're going to live in a world where there's power all around us and it's simply available, constant and on demand. And we're not going to be wondering when we can get back to the wall to kind of, you know, suck from the teat of the cord anymore. We're just going to have uh, 
energy everywhere. And like you said, it's a natural motion. You're not shaking something to try and yeah. You're not you're not throw, you're not you're not shaking your baby that's, in the stroller. <laughs> exactly. That that sounds terrible. Well, listen. I think one of the coolest things about shows like CE Week, um, where you know Get Geek members can come and check this stuff out, is that they get to see a little slice of the future through <laughs> stuff exactly like yours. These micro generators that are going to so start producing that, okay. energy for us. And I think a lot of people may not realize it, but you know every time you plug into that wall, you're sucking a little bit more juice. And if you add all those phones plugged into all those wall outlets all over the place, that is a large sum of energy. So you're, you're I mean. It's great for the planet. No, yeah, I mean, the reality situation is like, you know, we're building all this amazing technology and we're thinking that it's like freeing us, but we're actually becoming more and more imprisoned because, you know, you are essentially shackled to the wall and shackled to the grid to make sure you have enough power for that technology. And I think that we need a lot of different solutions. It's, I obviously believe in renewable energy because I intend to live on this planet for at least, you know, yeah. some time. And I think we have to do the things the right way. But everything, hydro, solar, there's so many different ways to get this done. I think we need to start thinking holistically. We need to start creating hybrid systems. That's something that we do at our company when we're working with partners. We often present technology solutions that not only incorporate our technology, but also um, thermal, I mean, there's so many different not? energy so options. So many different ways, but yeah. I think the, the key thing is that, you know, we shouldn't be just letting this energy be wasted. Exactly. It's not like we're saying we're trying to do anything extra. This energy is all around us. Uh, honestly, kinetic energy is probably one of the most underutilized forms of energy in the world. And I'm glad, and I'm, I'm, I, I got to cut you off there. I'm really glad to see that you are providing a way to harness that. I think it's great technology. Thank you for being up here with us and telling us about it today, Jessica.